What is going on Adventure Nation? We are leaving Palm Springs and the Thousand Trails here, heading into the San Diego area. But where we stop, who knows? <laughs> this is the Motorhome Experiment. We have taken the time here in Thousand Trails and Palm Springs to really just get electric stuff done. And we got a large majority of it done. We're still waiting on a few components that forgot to add, uh, order because you just don't know what you need the first time you do this kind of stuff. So uh, we have a few more things we still have to come in yet down in San Diego. But we're going to get rolling and stop somewhere along the way, spend a few nights in the in the middle of the desert doing some boondocking. And then we're going to head over to San Diego to Camp Land at the it's Bay. It's actually not the desert. We're going to go up to the mountains. Like it's freaking hot in the desert. It is freaking hot in the desert. <laughs> so yes, the mountains somewhere, and by mountains we mean hills around the Julian area. Anza Borrega, actually, or Borrego. Oh, Borrego Springs, it's called too, it's part of it. So yeah, there's supposed to be the some area. cool hiking and things up there, so we're gonna but go check it out. Probably we're not gonna do anyway, so. Yeah, we may not get in that, so. <laughs> And I apologize if we're in, you were in the Palm Springs area and you touched base with us and we couldn't get to you. I'm sorry. It's like we had just too much stuff going on. Yeah, we were just work, work, work. We, we really went out for dinner one night and didn't spend any time in the Palm Springs area. We didn't really adventure and see anything here, which kind of sucks. We'll yeah, have to, we literally have to come didn't back. see anything. Have to come back, do some hiking, do some biking, do the tram. But let's rock and roll. We are rolling out a thousand trails. Gonna miss that pool and spa for a few days, Lori. Yes. We're gonna be Fair playing nice. in the dust, in the dirt. We had to make a quick stop, grab some fuel. We stopped at the Red Earth Casino. It was the cheapest fuel in the area by probably 30, 40 cents, something like that. And as you can see out the front window, that is the Salton Sea. You can barely see it. Barely see it, yeah. You didn't see it. But we're gonna stop down in the Salton City and see if we can't uh, go close to the water, check it out. Let Laura and Kevin experience the sights, the sounds, and the nasty smells of the Salton Sea. All right, we popped out of the coach here at the Salton Sea. Gonna take a quick look around. You can already get the aroma. I wish you guys could smell this. It's pretty, pretty rank. Lori's already making her way out. At some point back in the 60s, this was going to be this huge resort area. The lake is actually a mistake. It's not supposed to be here. It has something to do with a, a levee or something that broke on the Colorado and filled this up. And then they wound up just leaving it. They've been talking about reviving it and stuff, but the salt content is so high here that it just destroys everything. You know, boat motors, fish, wildlife, everything it is pretty crazy in the summer they have what's called a summer boil it once it gets really hot and the salt content is so high in the water that it just takes most of the oxygen out of the water and the tilapia in the water die off and they just basically 
wash up on the shore and they call it the boil the summer boil but crazy interesting place supposedly like 400 species of birds here so there is wildlife some of the wildlife has adapted but humans not so much it's desolate This is as close as I'm gonna get to this part of the water here. It's pretty nasty. I just sunk in about a foot and a half and just smells disgusting out here. But again, you can see the birds, they're adapting, they're eating something along the edges. They're just having a good old time, good old meal. <laughs> I wish this was smell-o-vision because it's pretty intense. But this stuff here, there's been areas that were super soft. Why would anyone want to live out here? This is crazy. I'm sure land is cheap. Get a great deal out here. Blair Valley, which is near Julian, California, kind of north and west of San Diego. And we've never stayed out here in Blair Valley before. We found it online and we're out just scouting it out to see where we're gonna stay. Actually, Kevin and I already drove in with the car, scouted where we're gonna stay, and now we're heading that way with the RVs. So this should be a pretty area to stay. The tough part is gonna be cell signal, but I think we'll be all right. That's the one I'm checking. It's gonna be a, we get it. a little washboarded going back, but not too bad. What? What? But beautiful valley out here. Blair Valley, it's probably where they filmed the Blair Witch Project. That is not true at all. Look at this spot, look at this sunset. Oh, unbelievable. We wound up at the place called Blair Valley. It's outside of Julian, California, which is kind of northwest of San Diego. An absolutely gorgeous spot. Oh, somebody's got a fire going. Look at the backdrop here. This is absolutely amazing. It is a boondocking spot. It's free camping and it is incredible. The sunset is amazing. These are the kind of places that we absolutely live for. We're gonna spend probably three nights here and then we'll head into San Diego on Monday. Actually, Tuesday, what's today? Today's Friday, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I think Tuesday, maybe even four nights, but absolutely gorgeous out here. Really looking forward to this. And we're gonna get some more stuff done with our solar and things like that. And just kind of hang out. So this will be this will be cool. Maybe we'll get some hiking done. But going to be just a nice, quiet, relaxing weekend. And yeah, pretty incredible. Kevin's got his doors open. He's finishing up his solar install as well. Hopefully we'll get the solar panels up while we're here. That would be cool. Incredible. Lori's doing dinner. Let's go see what she's doing. What you doing, hon? Guacamole. Ooh, Lori is making her famous guacamole. I know. Check that out. Hard. That's awesome. Yeah. Got some onions going in there. What else? What else going in there? Uh, in there, nothing, but we're going to have rice, Spanish rice, some broccoli, and some taquitos, and for dessert, some pineapple. Yummy. Sounds like good stuff. Food. I love Lori's guacamole. It's very good. Thank good you. stuff. Good Alrighty. answer. Good answer. <laughs> Alright, we'll uh call it now. I think we're gonna yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everybody. As you guys know, we arrived out here in Blair Valley just outside of San Diego. 
actually quite a ways outside of San Diego, but it is absolutely gorgeous out here. Bit windy last night, but we survived the night. And uh, now it's just awesome. You can see my neighbors over here are working on some electrical stuff. Let's go visit Kevin and see what he's got going on. Hey buddy. What's up? What's happening? Mess. That looks like an absolute complicated mess. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Kevin's an IT guy though, so he can handle this stuff. He's got all the wiring diagrams and things, and he's just slowly but surely piecing it together. I'm working on my stuff over there as well. Look at that. Yeah, see, just looks look at look looks easy, right? Squiggles. Yeah. That nothing. He got that. He got except, it. Except I can't get the control monitor to come on. Oh, is that right? Yeah, the one piece that so I can see everything. So you can see everything is not coming on. Yep. Isn't that the mm -hmm. way it always works? Well, I'm gonna go try and get mine done. So. All right. I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Bye. Okay, we just heard screaming coming from over at Kevin's camp. So either he's got his stuff working or he's been electrocuted. Hopefully he's been electrocuted. That'll be great for video. Have you been electrocuted? Yes. Oh, no. So your stuff works is what you're saying. Oh, man. His stuff's working. I thought he was electrocuted. <laughs> oh, no. Damn it. Damn, that is that is a sexy looking control panel there. Look at that. Pretty cool looking. All right, cool. So it's got some of his system up and running. That's awesome. And we gotta continue on ours. So that'll be something that hopefully we have the majority of our AC stuff up today and rocking and rolling. This is what we're working on today, getting the. AC up, the alternating current stuff, and that ought to be fun. I'm gonna do something that I don't know if, if I'm able to do, but I, I think so. Never know if I can do it or not. You just plug stuff in and see if there's any sparks. Tell you what, it's been a pretty productive day today. We've got uh, the solar power upgrade continuing. I've got the whole converter charger installed, but this place, Woo! Again, just absolutely gorgeous out here. It's gonna be a little windy. Oh, it's beautiful out right now. It came in pretty quick. Oh, that looks nasty. Though. Yeah, that doesn't look good. That looks like it's gonna bring a lot of wind tonight. Hopefully not, but it does. But uh, I think tonight's movie night. You up for movie night? Movies. All right. Movie night it is, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Tomorrow, I think we're gonna hit Julian, which would be cool. Good morning, everybody. I guess it's kind of somewhat good afternoon, but we're out here at Blair Valley, and it is an absolute gorgeous day. And today, I'm excited because we're actually going to get out and do some exploring. We're not going to be hiking, but we are going to do some exploring. And where are we going? To Julian. We're going to Julian. It's the apple pie capital of the world. No, Jerome's a different place. Yeah, sorry. Didn't mean to disappoint you. So, we are going to get some of the most delicious apple pie we've ever had. I hope. Or Vegan so, versions. Or so they say. Or so they say. So, off we go. One of the things you guys are going to notice is that I'm, I'm not driving. Everyone always asks why I always drive. That's not always the case. That's only when he films. But I like to drive while I'm filming and put everybody's life in jeopardy. And this is why I usually drive. Lori, your life is in his hands. I know, that's why having the back seat is a safer spot. <laughs> Alright, we have arrived at Julian and heading into downtown. Parking here is always a nightmare, but there's this lot up top, about two blocks from town, five bucks all day. And you don't have to worry about trying to wrestle everyone in town for a parking space. RV parking too. Yeah, oh that's right, it's RV parking too. So I would think large rigs may be an issue, but smaller rigs, not a problem.
this young lady here is the owner of Apple Pie Alley, and you should come here because their pies are amazing. And it's Apple Alley Bakery. Apple Alley Bakery. Sorry, we got to get that right. Look, and we've got it on here too, so we got it on there. So Apple 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 Alley Bakery, awesome. And look at all the deliciousness back there. Where are you gonna get a pie, a turnover, and over a dozen cookies for less than thirty bucks? Yep. Twenty five dollars, man. It's awesome. There's no point. Apple pie beauteous. Ooh. Pie crust cookies. Show them what chuck cookie looks like. I feel so fucking Oh, come on. <laughs> this pie. That is really, really good. That's a cute piece of pie you got there, Paul. Yeah. Lori only gave me this little tiny piece because she doesn't want me to gain weight. She wants to be able to take looking, care of him later. Looking out for her investment. Sure. And these things here are like one of the greatest inventions ever. Pie crust cookies. Not oh, good. We have to keep a close eye on Lorraine as she has the pie. Most of you don't know, but uh, this place was about the song. Hello, Hotel Robinson. This is a place that you should go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Here's to you, Hotel Robinson. Heaven loves you more than you will know. Ho, Hotel. Okay, I gotta say, I have never seen this before. That can't be good for your engine. I'm betting that guy is a truck driver because he likes that big long stack thing. Pretty crazy. That's why I like motorcycles. Everyone is individual and amazing in its own little way. And some a little weird. <laughs> How can we not go see the free historic well? Let's check it out. Man, check out some of this old vinyl. Linda Ronstadt, Willie Nelson Stardust. 22 dynamic hits, KTEL Records. Wow, remember that stuff? Search Party, Barry Manilow, oh my goodness. Oh, that's covers. Yeah, those are covers for those of you who think that there's wooden ice skate blades. Yeah, those take me back, buddy. Those are pretty amazing. Royal Canadian Special Ice Skate Blades. All right, we have done our thing for the local economy. Got some apple juice, had some apple pie, cider. apple cider, apple butter. butter, apple this, apple, apple pie. pie, apple everything. You're the apple of my eye. Now heading back to the car and we may head out and go to the sculpture thing out in the middle of the desert. I don't know what it's called, but we're gonna look called. for it. Yeah. We had a very productive weekend. We had a fun weekend. 
we got to swing into Julian, which is one of our favorite places here in the southwest. It was nice getting out of the, well, I was going to say it was nice getting out of the dusty old Palm Springs, but it's kind of dusty where we are here in Blair Valley. It's dusty, it's kind of sandy. I don't know how to describe it. But Julian, if you have never been, like you are, or inland in the desert, or you're in the Pacific Coast uh, on the ocean, but Julian is just like a foresty, right? Foresty area. So it's kind of cool, up in the mountains. Yeah, it's in the mountains northwest of San Diego. Beautiful, beautiful place. So we love going there. The apple pie was amazing. It's Apple Pie Alley. Apple, apple Alley, Alley Pie Company. Pie. Something like that. But you guys remember the stuff from there. But this is where we're going to call this one. So if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you kept up with all of our travels, joined us on our travels, subscribe to our channel, and it would be equally as cool if you liked the video. And it's time for us to go in. And subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah, I know. I started talking <laughs> I started talking with my hands. I don't know why. Let's go in. Okay, Ozzy, guys. are you ready to go in? Oh, look at Ozzy. Ozzy, ready? Come on, let's go. Come on. In. Let's go. Come on. See? That's how your cat should behave, <laughs> folks. Come on, Lori. Oh, and then he come back out again. He only come back out because Lori was here. Thanks, Ozzy. Time to go. Bye. What is going on, Adventure Nation? We are leaving the Thousand Trails Palm Springs, heading down the road. No idea where we're going. Um, Nothing specific. See where boy. we land. Yeah, but wait a second. I got to start over again.